Hi everyone, this is Dan with Wise Money Tools. So I got a question for you. Suppose you were in school and you had a friend who was gonna help you take your tests. You were gonna kinda cheat. <laughs> what if the answers he gave you were 81% of the time wrong? <laughs> that means if you took a quiz, let's say, of 10 questions, you would miss eight of them and get a 20% on your test. Now, just in case you're not a math whiz, 20% is an F. It's a failing grade. Now, maybe you cut him some slack once or twice thinking he's going to do better. But what if every time you got your test answers back, you were consistently wrong 81% of the time? How many times are you going to listen to this guy, right? Well, did you know that according to factset.com, stock market analysts are wrong, guess what? 81% of the time. It's literally the only job where you only have to be right two out of 10 times and you're still gonna get invited on TV shows and quoted in financial articles as an expert. So if that's the average being 81% wrong, how much faith do we put in these guys? Let me ask you this. If you had a financial advisor that was wrong on his recommendations to you 80% of the time, how long would you keep investing with them? Probably not long, right? This is why so many advisors simply take the easy road. And what they do is they recommend mutual funds where they're not gonna have maybe the greatest return, especially after fees and taxes. But because a mutual fund buys hundreds of companies, they feel like it's a little safer way to go. This way, they don't have to rely on gurus or experts or rely on themselves in picking investment winners since statistically, they're probably gonna be more wrong than right anyway. It's because of the volatility and really not being able to rely on experts. This was my main objective to find a wealth building solution that wasn't reliant on the stock market. Because here's the problem. When you think about investments that do well, let's just say 10% or more, it's widely accepted that you have to take some significant risk with your money. It might be the stock market, it might be lending, it might be real estate, but each one of those investments has its pros, of course, but it also carries with it risk. You never know when another 2008 is gonna come again and cut your net worth in half. Since you can't rely on the so-called experts because they're wrong more often than not, how do you build your wealth predictably and more importantly, how can you do it safely? Well, what we designed was a way to take two massive businesses, two stodgy businesses, two businesses that have been around for centuries and blend them together. The first is we use an old stodgy insurance company that's been meeting their clients' needs and objectives for 150, maybe even 170 years. And then we couple that insurance company with banks where we can use safe leverage to enhance our returns. And it turns out you can achieve some very impressive results. You can actually get double digit returns. You can keep your money safe and even guaranteed. You can keep your money liquid in case you need to access it. You can create a substantial income stream far greater than traditional investing. You can leave a legacy for your family. And best of all, you can do it all tax free. I know it sounds pretty impressive and quite a tall order. I agree. But the best part is you don't even have to be an investment guru or listen to investors on what stock or mutual fund that you should buy. And by the way, who wants to follow someone that's wrong 80% of the time? So having a predictable way to build your wealth can bring peace of mind and make life much simpler. So want to see how this might work in your situation? Well, all you have to do is click on the time trade link below and set up a strategy session and we'll explore some options for you and see if it's a good fit. In the meantime, if you have any questions, shoot them to questions at wisemoneytools.com. I'll answer them just as quick as I can. And don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a video. Until next time, take care.